Hi friends, uh, welcome to Sunflower Hill. I'm Tina and um, this is not a video I particularly want to make. Um, I'm doing this because I promised to update some absolutely lovely people um, on that first video about the goslings. So first of all, I just want to um, just a bit of a trigger warning if you're feeling a bit fragile, if you're not up for hearing really sad stuff about animals, um, then just, you know, skip this one. Um, I completely understand I've been there. So um, yeah, look after yourselves. Okay. So I have been looking after those goslings with um, multiple times a day love and care uh, for weeks. Uh, since the first video, it's probably, they were probably six or seven weeks old at least. I don't really want to go back and look at all that footage now to find out. Um, and as they grew, it became necessary to move them around um, to, to locations where they had a bit more space. I, so I finally moved them uh, last week into a really safe, big area. Um, and thought they were, they were doing super well. They are really healthy, big, beautiful, healthy guys. I'll put the last bit of footage on um, the end of this video. Um, but then yesterday, uh, my daughter went in to feed them and discovered that a fox had got in and killed all of them. So they're all gone. Um, and as I said, this is not something I wanted to talk about or say, but because such lovely, kind people um, put such lovely, caring, kind, interested, connected comments on the first video, I felt uh, like I should let you know what happened and people wanted to be updated. I didn't want to just say nothing and just never update that. Uh, um, and also, this is this is one of the the real horrible parts about this sort of life um, that you go through this sort of heartbreak. Um, foxes are very very wily, difficult creatures to combat. I have built thing. I put wire under the ground and you know roofed everything's roofed everything's got netting everything's secured under the ground and you know for six years I've not lost any animal to a fox um, and then suddenly they are like if you haven't kept poultry and dealt with foxes please don't make a judgmental comment um, if you have you will know what I mean and you will understand this because in 30 years of keeping poultry all of the people I know, so, so many people who keep and love their birds. I don't know anyone who has not been through this. Foxes just, they climb, they um, dig, they actually will come night after night and, and chew away and pull a wire apart. My, as I say, my, my builds have been with that in mind. And even then, sometimes they will find a way. So I'm pretty, pretty devastated by that, to be completely honest. Uh, and I don't really want to say too much more. This, will, this is just uh, to be respectful of the people who engaged with that first video and wanted updates. Uh, I, I don't want to just, just not do that. I just felt like that was, um, that was a bit rude and disrespectful to people who, who you know, who are probably waiting to see how the little guys went um, but you know before that they were healthy and thriving and um, beautiful little guys who would come up and say hello to me and you know engage with me every time I looked after them so some animals you get more attached to than others when you're on a place like this with a lot of animals every every animal I have gets 150 percent of my care I put my absolute life and soul into this place and into caring for my kids and keeping them safe and caring for my animals and keeping them safe and looking after my plants. But 
that nature is pretty ruthless and shit things happen. So when you're very attached to the particular, you know, animal, it's, it's hard. So I'm going to leave it there, except to say that I have dealt with a lot of horrific things in my life. And the one thing that is of any use, I am not of the school of thought that if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. It doesn't. Horrible things are horrible things and we should have compassion for each other. And the one useful thing to be got from dealing with horrible things is just that, that kindness and compassion never ever go astray so um yeah sending all sorts of love and kindness to anybody out there dealing with awful stuff i know there's a lot worse stuff than this i've dealt with a lot worse stuff myself um and the kinder we can be to each other the better uh so i'm going to finish this video off with with the last bit of footage i took of the little guys the other day um, but I also wanted to say that there have been some you know some nice things and the um, the chicken who I gave eggs to when I was um, when I was doing the goslings hatched those out and she has five beautiful chicks that are growing up as well so and there are other videos coming out that are dealing with nicer things Anyway, I'm going to say hooroo for now, guys, and I'm not going to do anything with this video except just explain and show you some footage of the babies um, as they were and I, as I would like to remember them. I've got a, a drake who has been evicted for harassing the heck out of the, um, the ducks, the female ducks. He's living in the backyard, but I might put him up here as well. He'll eat the snails too, won't he, buddy? Yeah, he'll eat the snails and you eat the grass. Then we can plant and we'll be fine, won't we? Be great. They're very big now. Oh. Hey, hey, you big guys, aren't they? You big babies now. You are. You big babies now. Hello. Hi. You grow very quickly, don't you? Grow very quickly. Very good. <laughs> right, keep going with the jobs.